Because Libya has been torn by conflict since the ousting of former leader Mohammed Gaddafi in 2011. The country has been split into areas controlled by UN-backed government of national accord in Tripoli and terrorist, ter and of course, ter uh, ter um, I beg your pardon, uh, of course, uh, Tripoli and uh, territories held by the Benghazi-based Libyan National Army led by Khalifa Haftar. On Wednesday, the Prime Minister of the Government of National Accord, Fayez al-Saraj, announced his resignation in a televised address. Omar Ahmad Fati, tell us more, more of that. His resignation speech, Fayez al-Saraj, the head of Libya's presidential council, told the Libyan people that he will be handing over power to an executive authority, which will be formed no later than October. Saraj said he was resigning as leader of a socially and politically polarized country. The social and political milieu was and continues to be in a state of acute polarization and division, which made all attempts to reach peaceful solutions to prevent bloodbath and maintain a vulnerable social fabric very challenging. Some stubborn parties were and are insisting to deepen these political divisions, opting for war to achieve its illegal objectives. This is something we have realized at earlier stage so that we made many concessions to block the way for such sinful desires. Ever since Gaddafi was toppled, Libyans have been involved in a civil war between forces of the internationally recognized government and Khalifa Haftar's rebel forces. Efforts to reach a peaceful agreement are compounded by the involvement of regional and international powers. The United Arab Emirates, Egypt and Russia are backing the Haftar's Libyan National Army, while Turkey is supporting the government of National Accord and have helped it repel a 14-month assault on Tripoli in June. Saraj Ejen when the war broke out to invade the capital and topple the legitimate civil authority, we fought back against a foreign back war machine and achieved victory. Thanks to God, our rebels and the brave army soldiers. In this context, we have to make clear that the government, since its formation, was not working in a normal environment, not even close to normal. Rather, it came under daily pressure, deceit and plots from inside and outside parties. Some even notably and repeatedly sought to disrupt the government. As a result, the government often faced great difficulties and obstacles, which prevented it from carrying out its duties in the most favorable way. Oil-rich Libya was plunged into chaos when a nato back rebel uprising in 2011 toppled and killed the country's longtime ruler, Muammar Gaddafi. Peace talks are expected to resume soon in Geneva and the outgoing Prime Minister Saraj have urged negotiators to quickly name a new administration to secure a peaceful and smooth transition. His resignation came amid protests over dire living conditions and corruption across the country. For iAfrica TV, I am Omar Ahmad Toure.